The WOW signal is considered one of the most intriguing events in the search for life in outer space. In 1977, a SETI researcher working at the Big Year Radio Telescope of Ohio State University heard an extremely strong signal coming from the constellation Sagittarius. The signal lasted for 72 seconds, then it was never heard from again. It was dubbed the WOW signal after its discoverer wrote WOW with an exclamation mark on a computer printout next to a numeric representation of the signal. Many researchers still believe this signal may have been our first interception of an alien broadcast because analysis of the data has ruled out satellites as the source and the regulations on Earth do not permit the broadcast of frequencies in the range picked up by Ohio's Big Ear Telescope. But according to New Scientist magazine, a new theory has recently emerged which, if confirmed, could finally solve the mystery of this perplexing space signal. Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Antonio Paris, a professor of astronomy at St. Petersburg College in Florida, has proposed a theory that suggests the WOW signal may have come from a passing comet, not aliens. He said, I came across the idea when I was in my car driving and wondered if a planetary body moving fast enough could be the source. Because when comets pass close enough to the sun, they release a lot of hydrogen. And it's possible that hydrogen being released in this way could emit at the same way wavelength as the WOW signal. And it so happens that two comets, 266P Christensen and P 2008 Y2 Gibbs, have orbits that would have put them in position in 1977 to be the possible source of the signal. Because neither of these comets had been discovered yet in 1977, so nobody thought of them until now. And if you still think it's aliens behind this signal, well, don't give up hope. Researchers are skeptical about whether comets can produce enough hydrogen to cause a reading on that scale, saying for a comet to emit a signal as strong as the WOW signal, it would have to shed a huge amount of hydrogen. It's certainly possible, but unlikely that one or two comets could have released such a big amount of hydrogen in order to produce a signal as powerful as the one intercepted by the Big Ear Telescope. James Bauer Jack's brother? James Bauer of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California is also skeptical of this theory and says, if comets were radio bright at 21 centimeters, I would be puzzled as to why they aren't observed more often at those wavelengths. But the good news is, this theory can actually be tested and soon. Comets 266P Christensen will be back in the solar system on January 27th, while P2008 Y2 Gibbs will return in in January of 2018. So of course, this will be a great opportunity for researchers to study the comet's hydrogen signature, which allows them to test out Paris's theory. Now, if one of their signatures does match the WOW signal, then that may be it for the alien theory. But if not, ET it is. I'm personally in favor of the alien theory on this one, and I'm glad this new theory is something that we can actually test out pretty soon, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated on this story. And let me know your thoughts on the wow signal. Do you think it came from comments, or do you think it came from aliens? Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya.